Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game repair video for you today. It's not this evening anymore, it's still daytime. Anyway, people wonder where I get this stuff. Guy called me with this this morning, said I got a cruise in USA at my house. And the price was right, so I told him I was on the way. I've kind of dealt with him before, but I've never been to his house. And I'm not one to judge anybody, you know. I'm not the cleanest person in the world. But boy, his house. Whew. And I've seen some things. I've been in some places. But I've got this game outside because I'm letting it air out. I mean, it, it's pretty bad. Just dirt caked everywhere. I just don't even see how that happens. And his whole house was like this. I don't know. I just I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like he wiped this off with like a wet rag before I got there. But yeah, he had pit bulls and stuff running all over the place. And you ought to smell it. I know you guys can't smell it through the computer screen. Or maybe you can. It's pretty rough. You know, you know what this tells me? That tells me it's broke. The marquee's still in pretty good shape. That looks like an original one too. So that marquee bulb has been burned out a long time. It hasn't even cracked it yet. Yeah, he had this game in his living room. He said he's had his fun with it. There's my truck with the lift gate on it. Everybody wonders how I move these. My lift gate's about worn out. I've I've had it a long time. I've moved it on three different trucks. That comes out like that. I got a little button over here. Then the platform just falls. With, if you got weight on it, it works better. Aren't you excited? Are you fascinated by this? And then I've got my little rack here. My brother Donnie welded this up for me a long time ago. And these are boat cranks. That way I don't have to mess with straps. I actually just leave them hooked here. I put the game up where I want it. And then I can unhook this, wrap the strap around it and hooked to that metal bar there. So it works out pretty good. My truck's in pretty rough shape though. I, about time for another one. I've had this one a long time.
But anyway, I'm going to let this air out a little bit more. And uh, we'll get it cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to try to get all this off of it before I take it inside. And uh, we'll get back with you in a little bit. So I've been cleaning this. But the thing about these is you can't get that dirt out of there very easily. See how it's all stuck in there? So I'm going to show you the best way to clean and totally rebuild this thing. Are you ready? They call that the Craigslist rebuild right there. Look at that. Board's looking good. There we go. Looks like a whole whole new whole new seat all right I ain't got to this part yet I ran out of paper towels and Windex I gotta go get some more but yeah I'm gonna clean this up the best I can I'm actually gonna repaint the top of this thing by hand everything's black I'm just gonna roll it back on get everything nice and clean again and that fresh paint will hopefully help with some of the smell it's already aired out a lot I've had it outside for a few hours but I'm gonna clean it all up repaint most of the black areas I'm gonna repaint the sides of these and I'm gonna put some blue tea molding on there make it pop or maybe red probably red I think I do red on cruising but I'll get back to you all right I got it cleaned up good enough to bring inside I still need to clean it up a little bit more but I ran out of Windex and I forgot to get some. It's the next day. I let it air out for a few more hours yesterday and I painted some stuff. And it uh, it doesn't smell that, that bad anymore. It's pretty good. Hit it with some Febreze a little bit. But anyway. I gotta start seeing what's wrong with it. Well, we all know what's wrong with it it's broke but if you get one of these and not necessarily a cruising but if you ever get an arcade game and you can't figure out how to get the back door off and it's got a lock most of the time if you can get in the top door that's what this hook is for Then it works the other way too. If you can actually get in the back door, you can usually reach around and unscrew this lock. You can on a cruising, but on most games you can. So let's see what's going on with the inside here. I haven't looked inside yet. Alrighty. I'm hoping that's going to be a 7500 monitor up there and not a U5000. I have to take off that bubble in a minute to see, but 
the story I got was he got it. It's been in his house for a while, and it, things started resetting on him. That's the manual and everything inside, I guess. So anyway, this is the game board. This is the board you need for the steering for the force feedback. And this is the power supply. He claimed it was resetting. Which could be a voltage issue or it could be a dirty jamma harness. Could be a lot of things. But I don't know why they cut the cord off. Maybe he cut the cord off so I couldn't plug it in when I was at his house. Which I wasn't going to plug it in anyway. I, the price was right. I just I got there, I put it on the truck, and I got the heck out of there. If you get a game and it's um, and it's real cheap, just go get it. Don't go over to their house and plug it in and test it all out. Because if, if they think it's broke and you plug it in, and it actually comes on and works, the price is going to double on you. I've heard stories where people go over to people's houses. They'll be looking at a broke game. They'll try to figure out what's wrong with it in the person's living room. That is the craziest thing. You know, because if you mess around and get it to work, they're going to triple the price on you. Just go over there, buy it, take it home, and then start messing with it. So anyway, I'm gonna um, I gotta put that power cord back together, and we'll see what it does after that. These 90s Midway games always seem to have this plate on here. Well, now we're going to go ahead and plug it in once I get this plate back on. Think it's going to work or do anything? I 
Cruising is one of my favorite racing games to buy. It's Nintendo. Can't go wrong with Nintendo, usually. Now that I say that, it's going to be a disaster. All right, we're going to plug it in. I'm plugging it in right now. You excited? Going live. Nothing. They must have it switched off. All right, let's see. I'm betting the monitor or something's going to be bad on it. All right. That monitor don't sound good. You hear it? Well, look at that. Gotta go with the Corvette. I got insurance. Well, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. At most, this is where most people would just take some pictures of it and put it on Craigslist or Facebook or whatever. But I'm actually going to change this power supply. I'm going to clean that edge connector. And I'm going to take that monitor out of there and change the flybacks and the caps on it. Because it's 
hopefully it's got a 7400 in there and they're real bad for drifting after they've been on for an hour or so the focus and the brightness will start to drift so I'm going to change those change the power supply clean the edge connector and rebuild the monitor and we'll get back with you That went.
Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Joe's crazy. That monitor looked pretty good to me. There's no way I would cap that. I'd just leave it alone. I'd adjust it. Well, I saw things you didn't see. The After I cut off that last clip, the picture started jumping around, going crazy. And also, I have to do things different than you guys have to do because... I'm selling these at retail prices, you know, and I'm I'm taking them to, you know, big nice houses on the rich side of town. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And I have to offer a warranty with my machines. You know, if you're selling one on Craigslist or wherever, you know, you get the tail light warranty with that deal. You know, once you can't see those tail lights, that warranty's gone. But, you know, I've got a retail shop here. So I have to do things a little bit different is what I'm saying. And I can tell this has never had a cap kit. And that looks like the original flyback. And I've tried before. I've tried to, well, I'm not going to cap that one. It looks pretty good. You know, I've been doing this a long time. Every time I don't cap a monitor, it comes back to bite me into you know what. And so, you know, years ago, I just started capping all the monitors. And it really cut down on a lot of the hassle. Just, just go ahead and cap it. I know you don't want to. But just go ahead and cap it. But again, you know, if you're just playing this in your house, you can play it till the thing blows up, and then you can cap it. But I got to do things a little bit different. So I'm going to cap it, change the flyback, and we'll get back into the game. See, look at that. See that right there? It's a cold solder joint. And that's where the red comes in. Red, the green ain't looking too great either. So if I'd have left that in there like that, the red would have cut out. Who knows when? Probably next week after I carried it up two flights of steps to get it in somebody's house. Then I'd be out there taking it out, reflowing it in their bonus room upstairs. Alright, I got my monitor board back in there. New flyback. All new caps. I adjusted the screen. It's got a pretty good picture on it. Usually I turn up the red, green, and the blue, but I'm going to leave this one how it is because it looks pretty good. A lot of times on these regular cruising USAs, the tubes are about worn out at this point. But uh, this one's still looking pretty good. And surprisingly, my marquee bulb is working. These usually get all cracked and you have to replace them 90% of the time, but this one's still in pretty good shape. And I took the wheels off the cabinet. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but this one, they had it up on wheels. And uh, Cruising USA didn't actually come with wheels. I don't like wheels on most games because it makes them top heavy. They're easier to tip. And, you know, I'm moving them by myself on my lift gate out there. And it's just more, they're more trouble than it's worth on the wheels. I'd rather just leave it on regular leg levelers. <clears throat> But next up, I'm going to take off this uh, control panel. I got to clean up the monitor a little bit. It's got some stuff in there. Got to take off the sticker. It looks like it was last operated in 2006. And I'm going to tighten up this wheel a little bit. They always get a little little loose and I'll show you how to do that in a second and I forgot to mention this earlier um, these come apart in two separate pieces obviously you've seen that already but I just figured I'd mention it this is the main piece and these will come off if you need them to those wood slats 
but I usually just leave those on there. And the seat just slides on top of those, around those, I should say. And you got four bolts on each side that go into those T nuts there and keep it in place. This one's actually not that loose. And you would think you would just tighten up these three screws there, but you don't. You got to take those out, and then there's a nut behind there that you got to tighten up. And if you don't have a set of these, you need to get some. These are your security bits. I've had some of the cheap ones before. These aren't even all that expensive. But um, I've had some of the like chrome looking ones and you can actually strip those out pretty easy. I've had this set here for several years and I use it several times a week. Like this one's got a ton of these security screws on it. You see some more there in the control panel. And I'm going to have to take all four of these off. Well, that one's missing. I'm going to have to take those off. And there's a couple more underneath. And usually there's some up top on the marquee. So if you're working on arcade games, you need to get a set of these. But I'm going to take those three screws out and I'll show you that bolt. Alright, so it's centered right now. What I usually do is I turn it all the way one way. And I get my trusty pliers here. See, now, I turn it about half a turn, and that's all it takes. Put it back up center again. Put your steering wheel back on. It's not rocket science, people. Come on now. doesn't move at all now and there you go just about all the cruisings you're probably gonna have to tighten up that steering wheel at some point all right so now I got to take those screws off and I'm gonna clean the glass and clean the tube and I'll check the buttons and stuff I'm not gonna really bore you with that but that's next well I got it all back together got everything cleaned got my start button light working now I just gotta check the buttons I wasn't gonna bore you but I'm gonna go ahead and bore you anyway the uh, you can change probably everybody's played cruising but you can change the cars with the view buttons did I pick manual yeah I meant to pick manual Gotta make sure all the gears work. First, second, third, fourth. Tested working. Then you gotta check the view buttons, make sure the lights come on. All of them are working. And the radio button, it doesn't light up. They never do. They, they didn't run wire, they didn't run power up to the button to make it light up for some reason. But they did the start button, so I think it would have been pretty easy for them to wire that up. Maybe they didn't want it lit up so people wouldn't hit the radio button and try to start the game. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, people. I told you. But anyway, this thing actually works pretty good. 
everything cleaned up okay we're just going to pretend this is all good I'm going to show you how to fix this actually see this this is actually really easy to fix see how messed up the side art is there All right, hold on, give me a second, I'll fix it. Wow, look how nice this thing turned out. This thing's great. Anyway, it cleaned up pretty good. It's one of those ones that was so dirty at the beginning, you gotta go back and clean it three or four times. You keep seeing spots you missed. But I'm pretty happy with it. I like cruising. The whole cruising series, all of them are good. Um, what we really like about them is there's no hard drive so you don't have to worry about the hard drive dying but everything's pretty much ready to go all I gotta do is I gotta fix my two light bulbs there put a couple of locks on it and then we'll let it run back here for a day or two and let some customers play it make sure everything's cool and then we'll list it for sale survey like I'm gonna take a survey I'm trying to make a video here but I gotta pick on Kevin for a minute one of our viewers Kevin brought down this eight ball deluxe limited edition and he put a hard top on it apparently it was in really rough shape when he got it he put a hard top on it he got a whole new back box for it so you know what he does? He takes everything apart and puts it in his tote. Everything's in pieces. And then he brings it down here. He's like, well, I done did the hard part. I mean, all you got to do is put it all back together. It shouldn't be no problem. But he's got the boards, the displays, the power supply. He's got everything in that tote there. But he did put a hard top on it, so it should be a pretty darn nice game when we get done with it. And here's my multimeter everybody keeps asking about. Where's the multimeter? Where's the multimeter? Well, I kind of took it from Ronnie. I've been using it. It's nice. Our, our viewer Todd sent this to us, and it took me a while to figure this out. I, I've never had nothing this fancy. So I've just been using it for AC and DC and continuity. But then I needed to check the di a diode the other day. So I put it on diode check. And it was on a capacitor check. So I checked some capacitors with it and it seemed to work real good. But then I couldn't figure out how to get it on diode check. Cause I've never had a fancy meter like this. All the meters I've ever had were junk apparently. This one you actually just hit this yellow button and now it's on diode check. It goes over there to the yellow part and now it'll beep too whenever you do the continuity. So that's pretty nice. So I've been using it quite a bit on arcade games and Ron is still using that other one but I'm gonna have to let him use this one I guess because everybody keeps asking about it. But um, our viewer Neil sent us a multimeter a while back and it did caps. It's one of those Kuwait's meters. And I've been using it just to check caps and that's pretty cool. And, uh, but this one's nice that it does both. Top of the line. So we really appreciate that, Todd. That was nice of you. So I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. And, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for using our Amazon links. They're down at the bottom of this video. You got to in the description. You got to hit the more button, and then it'll take you to the links. And then uh, it should, if it's working, it should take you to like a pinball on Amazon. And anything you buy after you click that link will give us a tip. And Amazon actually emailed us the other day and said they're going to give us 
a bonus if we get a certain amount of people to use that link this month. So that's going to be cool. I hope we make the goal there on that one. Because I'm thinking I might get one of those GoPro cameras with my bonus money. If anybody has used one of those. I heard they're all pretty similar. Like the 5 and the 12. That they say they're all about the same. So let me know if you ever use those GoPros. If any of them is better than the other. Should I not get one of those? Should I get something else? Ronnie likes this camera because you kind of just hold it and point it. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to try out one of those GoPros and see what I think. Hopefully, if enough people use the Amazon link. But it cleaned up pretty good. This thing works great. A lot of times the, the dirty ones work the best. I don't know. You have a real nice game that's, you know, perfect shape. It's got all kinds of problems. But I'm real happy with this one. So, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.